in today's video is going to be a review and a demo of the Body Shop Lysting Shade Adjusting Drops, which look a little bit like this. This is a new product that's just come to the Body Shop. A few of you did tweet me, so thank you to let me know that this was in the Body Shop, have I heard of it, etc. Yes, because when I had my ill-fated interview with the Body Shop a few months ago, we were given a brochure of products that were coming soon to the Body Shop. I saw this and I was like, oh, I'm going to need that when that comes out. That looks interesting. It's a product to adjust the shade of your foundation. The Body Shop have also brought out an identical product to this, which is to deepen up foundation shade. So if you actually have the opposite end of the problem to me, where you find that foundations don't go light enough, there's actually a lot of women out there who find that foundations actually don't go, don't go deep enough and they can look a bit ashy and pink toned or whatever on the skin. My review is going to concentrate on the lightening version obviously, I feel like this is more appropriate to my channel but if you've tried the other version let me know because I'm quite interested to see if that would work actually. Before I give you my review and demo on this, just a few things to note with this foundation, it costs £10 which I think is really great value. I expected this to be a lot more expensive even though it is the Body Shop and the Body Shop are fairly reasonable with pricing. I thought because it's such a specialist product and because it's makeup as well, makeup tends to be a little bit more dearer. I thought, oh, this is going to be really expensive, but actually, no, it was £10. And because I got a loyalty card on the day that I went in to buy this, because um, I thought it's about time, because I spend all of my disposable and, let's be honest, non disposable income in the Body Shop and similar establishments, I was like, it's high time I actually did get a loyalty card. But when you did sign up for one in the shop, you got 30% off your order. So this actually only cost me £7, which I was like, wow. I mean, even try going into Superdrug and spending £7 and getting a foundation, you'd actually probably struggle. Let alone something that's going to help you wear all of your foundations because it's going to turn it into the correct shade. Um, so now I'm going to get on with the demo and then afterwards I'm going to give you my final thoughts and let you know whether I would recommend it to you um, to purchase and how I found it. Obviously that was a bit of a fail. What the hell? I've got all watery. Oh, I'm to shake it, wasn't I? Duh. Let me try it again. which is a tent, the tent to Chiclat by Yves Saint Laurent in BR10 and the lightning drops. Now when I first purchased this actually it was a lot lighter but when I repurchased it I noticed the colour had deepened. I don't know whether it's they've actually deepened the colour, whether it was a packaging error. Definitely says BR10 on the bottom and it said it on the packaging but it's certainly too deep for me and I've had to be wearing it with a white foundation to actually wear it whereas before it was pretty much my perfect shade. Just to show you, I've just done a few shots for my blog. So this is the Touche Clap foundation mixed in with a few of the lightning drops. And this is the difference. So this is the unmixed version there. And that is with a couple of drops in. So you can see how the drops have actually cancelled out those yellow and orange tones. I'm always a little bit dubious when things like this come out because I'm thinking, is it just going to be a fad? Have they really thought it through? You know, how have they tested it, etc. But I was genuinely really pleasantly surprised. I think it really does depend on the thickness of your foundation, obviously the shade and how much you're trying to lighten it. The shade of this isn't massively pinky but it has just a tinge of pink in it and I found that when adding it to yellow and orange toned foundations obviously it's counteracted the undertones of that and made it more of a pinky rather than a yellow shade. So if you are someone with a very yellow skin tone, maybe you're more tanned in the summer but in the winter time just a little bit paler 
but you haven't got sort of pink undertones you may find this actually changes the um, foundation it can make it look a bit ashy if your foundation is too pink and you don't have those pink undertones so if you're looking to just lighten the um, colour of your foundation but not change the undertone I would recommend just adding a tiny drop of a white foundation or a lighter shade foundation to kind of mix your shade whereas if you have paler skin I would say this problem probably won't really apply to you and you probably will be okay because I kind of feel like paler skin tones do probably have more pink tones in them than yellow and orange anyway um, but that's just something to know I wore this for a full day yesterday, mixing it in with my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Chiclat foundation. I did feel that, just very slightly, it made the finish a little bit more powdery than usual, but having said that, I was really critiquing it and I was like really up close in the mirror looking at it. I think probably the average person wouldn't really notice the difference. I can imagine that some products may not work well with this, maybe oil-based products, whatever. Some are going to work really brilliantly, and obviously it's also a thing of how much you add because if you add too much obviously it's going to make the foundation too pink too pale um, and also you, you know so it's one of those things that you're just going to have to kind of experiment with and try out but overall yes I would definitely recommend it and for £10 or £7 if you can get it with the loyalty card even if you have to pay this at full price I still think this is fantastic value and I really am very pleased with the body shop for bringing this out it's great value for money, as I've said, the product is very pigmented, you get a lot for your money, sometimes you really don't have to add a lot at all. I love the bottle design, I really think this is fantastic. Thank you Body Shop for recognising the need for products that are going to help women out there, and men of course, with pale skin, who find that their foundations don't currently suit them. So yes, I would recommend it, and if you've used it, I'd love to hear how you got on with it. So this was my review and demo, I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.